We all know the importance of groundwork. As a matter of fact, we attribute a lot of our horses' good, solid behavior to the groundwork that we do. There's just one problem with groundwork. After a while, it gets boring, not only for us, but for the horse as well. So I told my wife Renee about a workout that we had done at 5.30 in the morning with Jesse, my foundation quarter horse mare, and uh, she wanted to give it a try on this Sunday afternoon, so we took the camera out and decided to give it a go. We began by doing a little round pen work in our square pen with uh, Dusty, her 15-year-old quarter horse gelding doing a little bit of lunging for respect stage one and stage two just getting him to pay attention you can tell he's a little bit bored about this whole procedure he doesn't know exactly what's going to go on we wanted to at least get the fresh off of him it was a cold windy day threatened rain for a couple of times and so he was pretty fresh he hadn't been worked for a while he was pretty fresh and we wanted to give him a chance to bleed off some of that excess energy After we did the lunging for respect, we wanted to do a desensitizing exercise, so we did desensitizing with the stick and string. And after we completed that, it was off down the road to our general riding area, which uh, involved going down the street doing the C pattern exercise. The C pattern exercise is a great exercise to do when you're moving, gets the horse gets the horse thinking about where you are, where your hula hoop space is, also gets the horse's hindquarters moving around you, just kind of gets them paying attention. And we did this all the way down the street and up to the little canal road that we ride along usually. And then once we were up there, we decided to do a little bit more of the seat pattern exercise. Then every time we came across something that that Dusty looked kind of cross-eyed at, like he was afraid of, like this valve. We did this ending exercise where Dusty gets uh, sent between Renee and the valve and space gets closer and closer until Dusty is real walking nice and relaxed through that area. We did this a couple times. He seemed okay with it. And so we moved on to a backing up. We had plenty of room to back up. We knew that some kids had dug a, a trench out here on our canal bank to do to ride their bicycles through and do a little bit of jumping. So we decided to use that area as our own training area. And we did, again, the sending exercise, sending Dusty down into the trench, along the trench, over the trench, under the trench, through the trench, through the trench from the right side, through the trench from the left side, we wanted him to be relaxed going through every part of this trench. We wanted him to be comfortable with everything. We wanted to make sure that he was responsible for his own feet and that he knew how to get in and out of these types of situations and that it really built his confidence going in and out and through this trench. You can see it's about three feet deep and he did pretty good getting in and out of it. And the ultimate goal was to send him through this trench, nice and relaxed, calm, respectful horse, using the thinking side of his brain. We wanted to do a little bit more of the backing exercise. Renee wanted to use the wiggle, wag, and walk method of backing up. There's four methods of backing up, and we decided to use two of them, the marching method and the wiggle, wag, and walk. Scott Dusty nice and respectful and there were some kids out there we knew they were driving their ATV up and we asked them to help us desensitize Dusty to the ATV and when they did the sending exercise while well, the ATV went down the canal 
weird on these days to calm through the whole thing. At the very end we wanted to do some side passing exercise. We found this fence that's on the other side of the canal and since Renee wasn't real familiar with this exercise I took over and gave Dusty a, a lesson in side passing along the fence. And then to improve my feel and timing I decided I wanted to try and get Dusty to side pass towards me. It's an exercise that's not very useful uh, for the horse except it does help me learn uh, the feel and timing of applying pressure and releasing pressure. The goal here is to get Dusty to side pass along the fence towards me and if he took a step then I stopped and relaxed and then the, the ultimate goal for me was to try and get three steps in both directions and Dusty was picking it up very quickly on this side. When we switched sides it took me a about five minutes to get one step. I edited that out. We wanted to uh, to show you that he eventually got the exercise pretty good and he did get three steps on each side. And that was our making groundwork fun. <laughs>